Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will learn how to execute JavaScript using Selenium Python. So why do we need to execute JavaScript using Selenium Python? That's the first thing to understand. And before we understand why you need to execute, basically what exactly is JavaScript? So JavaScript is a scripting language and JavaScript runs on the client side. So for example, your browser. So many times, why do you need to execute JavaScript with Selenium is because Say for example, you would have noticed many times if you're already working in Selenium that many of the web elements, if they are not visible, so Selenium won't be able to handle those or click on those web elements, right? Because Selenium um, a web driver simulates the user actions and if, it is, if the element is not visible, it cannot click on it, right? So these are some of the instances. So for, for example, element is not visible or even if the element is visible, many times you will find the clicking on the particular uh, uh, web element or interacting with the web element very tricky with the normal selenium library or the methods that are available so in those cases javascript comes very handy and you can use javascript basically to do any sort of operation that you do generally using the selenium web driver and that comes to a rescue and in case you are stuck at some place and you cannot achieve the operation using the out of the box selenium you can use javascript execution and execute the script to proceed further so this is a brief introduction about the javascript and why do you need javascript in selenium web driver now let us go ahead and see how you can execute javascript in selenium with python so let me quickly copy this existing code and i'll create a new file not file sorry i'll create a new python file and i'll say demo js execution let me paste everything let me remove all of it okay and let me open the rcv academy training website and here so the first thing is basically when we are using selenium web driver we launch the browser copy this url and in pycharm say for example i will be using this training portal to show you how we can use javascript to open the website and then click on certain web elements okay so with the selenium web driver we are using this get method to basically open the url right so this opens so this particular statement opens this url into the chrome browser right so the first statement is launching the chrome driver and then this basically opens this url into the chrome browser right so let me rename this class name as well so i'll say demo js and then demo javascript all right so now let me create an object of this class and i will call the method demo javascript and let's basically run it so if if we run it we, we know that this will open the browser and launch this particular portal there okay so let me quickly run it so you can see the website the training portal has been launched in the chrome browser okay now say for example we want to execute the javascript so what we need to do is in selenium python we simply have the method out of the box method which is basically driver dot execute script okay so execute script is the method which we can use directly and then pass on the javascript within these parentheses here to execute the script there okay so here instead of say for example opening the browser using the get method i can comment it out so let me comment this this out and let's see how we can open the browser and launch this particular url using the javascript execution right so what we need to do is we need to basically so i won't be going into much detail of the javascript commands but to open the browser and to launch a particular url in javascript there is a command so you can simply say window dot open okay and when you so window dot open it accepts the arguments there so i can provide the url so it will accept the url so same url as this particular get method except we can provide that particular argument okay and if i just provide that much here in window.open it will open this particular link the same way as it opened so it will open the browser and it was really quick so let me put a 
wait there so i'll simply say time dot sleep and i'll put a four second sleep so that we can see that it is opening so let me put a sleep rerun and you can see that it has opened the browser and launched the rcv academy okay so it looks like i need to put a little bit more weight there so we can see what i'm trying to explain there okay so here you can see that the first tab has been opened which is blank and this url is being opened in the second tab there okay and then it has closed so if you want to open this url in the same tab then what we need to do is we simply need to provide the comma separated and we need to provide another argument and we'll say self so it will open this particular url in the same window okay so let's run it and you will see that now it will launch this particular url training.rcvacademy.com in the same browser in the same tab and then it will close it right so that's how you will open the browser and then launch the particular url into the browser using the javascript execution so the command or the method is to is execute script and then pass on whatever script javascript you want to execute all right now many times you will need to interact with the web elements using the javascript so how you will be able to click on a particular web element so that we can, we will understand as well so say for example on this particular page i want to click on any of these course details right so say for example i want to click on this lifetime membership then i will simply go ahead and inspect say for example this particular web element and to write a locator to locate the web element using javascript we will simply go to the console and we will start with so document so as we understand about the css selector and x path it is almost similar but bit different and supports bit different method so if you say document dot get element so you'll see that it it supports get element by id then get elements by class name by name and then by tag name right so i'll use get elements by tag name so what if you notice here it is get element so it will get all the elements that are there by the tag name and say for example i want to get all the elements that have the tag name paragraph so within quotes p and then it will if i hit enter you'll see that it has returned me all the elements that have that particular tag p right so if i minimize here if i hover over this one first one you can see that it has highlighted the text there the paragraph there and then similarly it moves on so if say for example i want to click on this particular paragraph what i'll do is i'll provide the index okay of that particular because this is find elements so i have to provide the index so if i provide say zero let's see which one is highlighted so with zero it's not there so i think one yes so as soon as i enter one there so at index one this particular text is there so i can use this particular locator okay and then go to pycharm and as we used to do driver dot find the element by x path and stuff for other locators we can do same thing for the java script execution so with this particular locator what i can do is i can simply say driver dot execute script okay and then within the script i can just provide this particular locator okay and now because i am trying to get the web element so i'm trying to return it right so I, if i'll return the locator that is identified by this particular locator so what this will do is it will return this particular locator and i can store it in a variable so if i define a variable so i can say demo element so i'll define a variable demo element and this execute script return the element identified by this locator and this will store that particular locator now another important thing is to remember that you end your javascript with the semicolon so we need to use semicolon there and semicolon there okay so now the next step is to basically say for example click on this particular web element right so we have stored this web element now using the javascript we can again say driver dot execute script and now we can click on this particular web element so now to click on this particular web element using javascript we can simply say arguments right so arguments zero dot and then click right so there is a click method and then end it with the semicolon 
and where do we want to click we want to click on this demo element right so just pass that argument here okay so in the first line here we are using javascript to launch the browser and open this particular url and then we are identifying the web element using the javascript returning that so there is a locator so we are using that locator and then executing the script which is returning this particular locator storing it in the variable demo element and then in the third statement here we are using again executing the script javascript to click on this particular demo element right so these are the simple steps basically to launch the browser open the url and then click on any web element using the javascript execution okay so if i run this now let's see it in action so it will open the browser it will open the url training.rcvacademy.com and then it will click on the lifetime membership paragraph and the course details should open successfully so you can see that it has opened the lifetime membership course details and then closed the browser right so this is a brief introduction about how you can use a javascript to interact with any of the web element in selenium web driver now with this javascript it is very very powerful you can do any sort of operations that you do generally with selenium web driver okay and if you have worked on selenium rc which was the prior version so selenium rc was using javascript to interact with all the web elements so previously it was a very different approach and architecture with selenium rc and javascript was being used to control the browser and click on the web elements and emulate the user actions using selenium rc with the new architecture and new web driver coming picture that architecture has been you know stopped but javascript execution is still possible and there are methods available to interact with the web elements in case you are finding it difficult to click on particular web elements and there will be many scenarios which we'll cover in the upcoming tutorial in the framework section where these the javascript execution is required in the real framework section and real automation that you will do in your project and organization so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful Thank you very much for watching.